What's up guys, this is Tabletop Vibes, and today we're coming at you with a awesome game called Ruffians by Obsidian Wing Games. And so, you're a pirate. So, if you like what you see, you want to see more, smash the like button, get notified, hit the bell for upcoming games that are coming out from us. This game, so much fun. <laughs> you and he won. <laughs> yes, not only did I win, but I did the Adam strategy. We re we literally reversed roles. Yes, I don't know what I'm doing. And see, the resource strategy is harder than it looks. It is. Yep. So usually in most games, <laughs> I am the attacker mm -hmm. and dominant, just crush, crush, crush yep, aggress. Yep. And he is Mr. Plan and get his engine and his food and build Resources, his yep. structure of habitation. And this time, while you're on the high seas, you don't have that option. Because <laughs> some people are stealing and killing your pirates. Yes. So, Jason, what is this game about? So, it's game about ruffians. I happen to be the ruffian. Felt like Blackbeard. Um, so, <laughs> I felt like I was the poor boy in the cabin <laughs> boy, getting destroyed. So, uh, in this game, you're taking control of a pirate ship. And your goal is to go and get a crew. Yeah. And then become the biggest, baddest, most outlawy pirate no one on the seven seas, and as soon as your bounty becomes 175,000 uh, uh, pasos, pasos. Not pesos, pasos uh, that triggers the end game. So, <laughs> yeah, I mean, it's cool. So, everybody has a player board, which is literally your ship, yep. and you can play up to seven uh, pirates or recruit up to seven pirates into your ship, mm -hmm. and then you're also collecting treasure cards, and then you're taking all of your pirates and your treasure. And the resources that you collect, which are rum and food, meat and yeah. food. And then you're going to raids. Mm -hmm. You can day raid, which is it's a little bit calmer. Yep. You can see what you're going into. Yep, yep. Or you can night raid, and it's a lot harder, and you can't see what you're flying into and sh sailing into with your ship because it's in the dark. That's right. So a little more details on the game. So yes, on ahead. your turn, uh, you are going to be uh, uh, refreshing any pirates that you have exhausted previously. Right. Obviously the first turn you have no pirates, so you don't do that. But then you're gonna do a market phase roll, or a market phase. And either this is gonna be you're gonna roll two dice and take one of whatever resources come up, it's either gonna be food or rum, right? Or you're gonna do a trade, and usually this is a two for one or three to one exchange. The three to one is for uh, gold. The why is the wrong gun? Yes. Because you traded it away. <laughs> or stole it. Yes. yes. So that's your uh, in, uh, initial phase. Yep. Uh, then you have two more actions that you get to do. Right. And these can be recruiting a pirate. And with re pirates, they have a resource cost, which is food and rum, because that's what pirates like. So yep. that's what you're going to give them. Um, it's going to be takes uh, a couple of extra, or uh, take an extra. Um, food roll. Uh, yep, yep, resource roll. Resource yep, roll. Resource roll. Because sometimes you're broke <laughs> and your pirates are killing people and they're still broke and hungry. So exactly. You're going to go search for treasure because yeah. you can like treasure like a pirate so you can take some treasure cards. Very helpful. Yes, treasure cards are really cool. They, are. Uh, they have one time abilities, take that abilities, resources, or, pa or passive abilities. Yep. yep, it's great. So, uh, Or you can discard them to use your recruits abilities, yes, which is what I was abilities. doing. Uh, let's see here. You have, you know, I'm just gonna, I'm gonna pull the little card here just, just to make sure I get it all here. Uh, yeah, the treasure card, the pirate, um, the, uh, reset the, uh, pirates. So you, you can, can reset, clear, you can clear the, the, clear the pirate board. row. Or as Adam said, you go on a raid and that's, oh, that's the fun part. Um, so on the raid, uh, you are going to pit your pirates combat and navigation skills against someone or something. Yep. Anywhere from a fishing boat all the way to, um, I don't know, I had like a huge, like, you're yeah. like, you, a yeah, lot like of Citadel or, something. or whatever, yeah, something exactly. like that. Yeah, yeah. Like, because they vary. Like, night is harder. Yeah. And every one of your crew members has on it either swords mm -hmm. or navigation or both. And then some people, some uh, pirates have one or two swords or one and two navigation. And then you're using those or tapping them mm -hmm. uh, and adding up your. Pirates total or your ship total against whatever your 
rating. Right. And if you successfully meet the requirements, you fulfill the raid. If you exhaust two additional pirates, it's you a, do an overkill and oh, you get yeah. more resources. Yeah, you can overkill. So like any good pirate, you can kill someone or you can overly kill someone. Exactly. And that gets you more things. Exactly. Exactly. You're really certain. You're really certain. Because this that, game is about ruffians. Yes. yes. You're, you're really certain that place is for loot. Yeah. I was um, trying to get the memo when I was playing. <laughs> My guys were Nicians. It was ridiculous. <laughs> So uh, then, like I said, you keep going, uh, and one of the one of the rewards is also like a little pirate flag, and yeah. this is your bounty, and that's how you increase your bounty. Yep. When you get it all the way up to the hundred and seventy-five thousand level, uh, you finish that round, and then that's the end of the game. Right. Whoever has the highest bounty level wins the game. Tie break is whoever has gold. Yeah. Gold can also be used to reduce some of those um, navigation or pirate. Uh, requirements strength yeah basically you're, just, raids. you're basically just paying people off 100 percent. yeah so that, i mean again it's it's super fun it's a quick teach and a quick mm -hmm. learn and then it has lots of complexity because you're trying to not use your like i had the ability down where i'm using my recruit my pirates abilities to not have to take actions to be able to take my actions on other things and then your cards themselves are one-time effects which allows you to do other actions so this is definitely engine chaining, building engine combo. chaining Yep, resource Obviously, management. Obviously, resource management mm -hmm. and the, you know, cooking food in your ship instead of warring is frowned upon. Yep. Um, for my strategy this game. Yep. Next game, though, we're going back to my usual. <laughs> Tried and true. <laughs> Tried and true and just take over everybody. Right. And the artwork on this game yeah, was it's really, a blast. Yeah, it was really fun. Um, let's see, what did you say? It was a, it was a mix between Adult Swim and, and Tailspin. Tailspin. So so there you go. You know, we, again, yeah. we'll put some artwork on there. It's but, great. Yeah. It's, it's fine. It's I'm fun. I swear really the like one dude from Tailspin, the bad guy from Tailspin is in this game. I love it. <laughs> He's like a cool looking wolf. I'll put him up on the screen. He's awesome. <laughs> but yeah, it's, it's a super fun game. Again, it's mm -hmm. anybody can learn to play it. It's decently... Uh, obtainable to understand mm -hmm. the iconography is very simple um in a good way and there's a lot of replayability because you can chain a bunch of different things and different pirates with different treasure cards yep. and different like right in other pirates with pirates right i had the looter and the uh oh yeah uh, the looter uh, and the, the rum the rum, the rum runner. runner yeah those two dudes i was taking two rum and two meat Yep. from Jason like every other turn. Hence why I abandoned the whole resource idea and just killed my all guys the were happy. There was no <laughs> mutiny on my ship. We were all eating well and drinking yep. well, but we couldn't fight to save our lives. Right. But that's also one of the uh, other things that triggers Endgame is not only do you have to have all the way up your bounty, you have to have a full crew. Of seven. So if I'm knocking off some of his crew, uh, that's a lot harder than you. I think I killed, I think you killed like three to four guys. Yeah, three to four guys. It was, ah, it was awesome and awful. But yeah, this game is coming out to Kickstarter on the May 17th, so don't miss it. Jump on board, become a pirate and a ruffian, and definitely check them out. The link will be in our bio. As always, thanks for watching. We're Tabletop Vibes, and we'll check you next time. Arr. Also, whoever your favorite pirate is, let us know. Mine is Davy Jones, if he counts. Uh, Blackbeard's great. Yeah, he's a good guy. Oh, no, no, no. Sorry. Oh, Jack Sparrow. Yes. Jack Sparrow. Ah, but why Jack is the Sparrow. rum gone? Yep, yep. He's my favorite. Because of the... Yeah. Uh... <laughs> sea legs. We'll check it next time.